it's going to take a lot of things to fall in place to convince Americans to go 50% electric. We're going to have to have consumer um, incentives to make it more financial, financially less burdensome to transition. Uh, we're going to have a lot more. We're going to need a lot more charging sta stations and infrastructure. Uh, there's going to have to be a lot of non uh, non monetary um, benefits like with going in the high occupancy lanes. We have to transition the commercial industry, plumbers, electricians. Uh, over to electric vehicles too, that will require a different kind of infrastructure than chargers, you know, uh, you know, for long distance commuting, those people do depot charging. Uh, and so it's different kind of infrastructure. Even the actual chargers are different for commercial. Our models plan to be 100% electric by 2030 in Europe. So uh, the 40%, 40 to 50, I think is, 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 what we'll commit to publicly, um, depending on how all these pieces fit together. But yes, the 40% uh, uh, is global. And we think for the US, 40 to 50% is reasonable, uh, given, depending on how these other pieces fall in place. So we're number one in vans, that vehicle is getting electrified. Mustang is the number one sports car, that's electrified now. F-150 is number one pickup truck, that's electrified. When those volumes really come on next year, um, that's really going to help our, our performance quite a bit. I'm just so excited about the future uh, because I believe Ford isn't just making a commitment 40% electric. We're doing something much bigger for our country. We're the number one auto jobs company in America, and we will be the leader in building the electric manufacturing and battery um, manufacturing capability for our country.